Hey guys, how are we all doing? Don't know why I'm doing like some weird kind of arm workout there. Anyway, how you doing? Um, so we are on day two of lockdown, I think. And I thought I'd start a vlog. It's quite late, it's actually half past four. Um, but I thought I would vlog because I'm trying to kind of be a little bit more active on YouTube just to provide like some more kind of entertainment for anyone who's bored, like me. Um, so yeah, I have spent today just doing work basically. I um, have filmed a few videos um, and done emails and stuff. And I also had a call with a potential wedding photographer, which is really exciting. Probably should have filmed all of this. I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, we're here now. So um, I am just gonna spend the evening cooking and cleaning and tidying and stuff like that. Um, and just doing a little bit more work. So it's half four, so I've still got about an hour left of work. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would start a vlog really. How are we all doing? I hope you're all doing okay. I know at the moment it's like a really tough time and stuff and a lot of people are finding it hard. Um, I did speak about this in my last video, but in case you didn't make it to the end, which I don't blame you because my video is always super long. Um, I have set up a Facebook group called Girl Gang. I'll link it down below, but we're on like 2000 members now. Um, and it's basically just a group where people can um, just discuss things, ask for recommendations, chat, meet each other, um, everything like that. So I'll just go on the group now and show you um, the sort of discussions that are being had just because um, if any of you guys are feeling lonely or feeling like you need like a little bit of support and stuff, then it might be worth joining. So I will link it down below if you're interested. But like, for example, somebody said, hey girls, can somebody suggest anything that helps with under the skin spots? They aren't going away. And then there's like 18 comments on there with loads of recommendations. A um, lot of people are sort of talking about like how to make friends or like how to kind of increase their self-confidence. Um, there's a few kind of things on there about like weddings, people who've had their weddings postponed, um, people who have had recent breakups and like how to get through there, people are posting like really lovely quotes. It's just the best space to be. It's really kind of happy, friendly, comforting space to be and I've had a lot of people message me that they just feel so much better since joining. So yeah, I just wanted to give that a little shout out. Um, not like for any other reason other than to sort of help anyone who's feeling low or just feels like they could do with like a little bit of girly chat then just head over there it's all very light-hearted and stuff so yeah anyway i am as i said gonna tidy up because i've got a lot of filming mess like surrounding me right now um and then i'm gonna get into cooking i'm cooking a tiger and curry tonight um and yeah that's about it so let's get tidying and i will chat to you guys in a bit can i also just say if you are like me during lockdown and living in leggings I've honestly worn leggings every single day, maybe for the past year, but you have to invest in these Lululemon leggings. Obviously, if they're in your price point or whatever, but these are honestly the best things I've ever put on my legs. They are expensive, don't get me wrong, like stupidly expensive. However, they are just so comfortable. Like, honestly, I feel like I could do anything in these. I wear them for working out, I wear them for running, walking the dog, everything like that, but I also wear them just for chilling around the house. Um, they are so comfy, so, so, so soft. I just love them. They're literally the best. So if you are looking for something that's really, really comfy, easy to wear, just to wear like sort of during lockdown and just to feel kind of like less like, I don't know, slouchy, because they just feel quite like expensive and luxurious when you wear them, then I would really recommend these. I'm gonna link them down below for you guys. Um, and yeah, I love them. I'm also pretty sure that Lululemon have a policy where if they get any holes in them or anything like that, you can take them back to the store and exchange, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I feel like I heard that somewhere. Um, but I've had mine for like two years and I've never had a problem with holes or anything. And yeah, they're just the best leggings ever. So I just thought I'd shout that out in case anybody's interested. They are expensive, but I personally think they're really, really worth it. And they're like nice and tight. Like, do you see like down there? Like, I just like how they're tight around the ankle. Um, I'm really comfy and they like kind of hide lumps and bumps and stuff. And yeah, I just love them. Anyway, right, now I'm gonna get into tidying. <laughs> So I also wanted to show you, I did a bit of a late night order from Farfetch the other day. Um, and I bought um, a vase, which you guys will have seen all over Instagram. So it's from the designer, Anissa Kermish, I wanna say. Um, and yeah, it's like a little bit wild and it's also quite expensive. <laughs> but it's a really, really cool piece and I really wanted it. 
um, in my home. So I thought I would show you it if I can get it out of all these things. Hang on. Sorry, that was a little bit of an anticlimax because my camera died, but here it is in all its glory. Um, yeah, I mean, not really much else to say apart from it's a, obviously a bum. <laughs> I think it's called the Love Handles Vase, um, and it's kind of like a marble effect. It's not marble, but it's kind of like that effect. I felt quite weird, like, caressing the bum then. Um, but I'm going to pop it in the bedroom, and I'll show you what it looks like in this situ. So here it is. I thought it might look quite cute in the bedroom, and then I might put some, like, eucalyptus or something in there. I don't know. Um, I just thought it was really cool, and... You know I love homeware. So yeah, um, I got this off Farfetch, so I will link it if it is still in stock. So we are cooking some dinner. So we're doing a Thai green curry and luckily I ordered this, what? <laughs> what was he doing? He just see his head in the way. Oh, I ordered this green curry paste like a month ago from Amazon and it's just arrived now. And apparently it's really good. So it's this, my ploy. Why is that not focusing? Come on. Yeah, my ploy curry paste. So, oh. um, that's just not funny. Uh, <laughs> so, for the curry, we have. Oh, you can't really see us there, shall I? Hang on, let me prop this up a little bit more. Pop you on the curry paste. There we go. And you still can't see Sam. So, we have coconut cream, fish sauce. You don't really need to put that in, you know. Onion. Um, what are they called? Baby Baby corn. Sprinkle. Spring onions. Um, and beans. And yeah, that's it really. How am I cutting the onions? Um, just in like little chunks, you know. Diced. Yeah. And then we've obviously got some rice as well. Uh, oh, and chicken. We've got chicken too for the curry. So yeah, let me get the recipe up now and start cooking. So we do normally do HelloFresh, but um, we have used all this week's one up. So it's now Friday and we get them delivered on a Monday. So we've used them up. So yeah, this week well, I... I just steal the recipe, don't we? Yeah, we normally just um, go on the HelloFresh website and like look at the recipes and stuff, but this one's a different recipe today. Um, but what was I going to say? Yeah, so I went to the shops the other day and just did like a big shop. So I got um, stuff for green Thai curry tonight. I got stuff for chicken noodle soup tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I got stuff for lamb casserole. So um, quite meaty, actually. Normally, I like we normally have fish, don't we? I don't know why that was such a like meaty selection of meals, but there you go. Um, but yeah, so Sam's just cutting up you know, this the chicken. Crap. Can you stop swearing in my vlog? You always swear. Crap's not swearing. No, <laughs> what did you say before that? Do you I? said fucking hell. Uh. <laughs> Raph always brings his blanket to wherever we are to lie down. Cooking here. And Raph has to be right next to us. Don't you pooch? It's okay, don't need to get up. I'm gonna have to wash my hands now, I've stroked you. Raffi's patiently waiting for his dinner. You guys might notice that Raff's had a haircut. I don't know if I've spoken to you about his haircut, but he had to be shaved because his fur was quite matted. Do you want your dinner? Will you sit? Raffi, don't play up on camera now. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. There's your dinner. Is it coming? <laughs> He's like, I'm done with your ships. Give me my food. What's that? Oh yeah, nice raw meat, nice. And there we go. It doesn't look as nice because it's with brown rice instead of like white basmati, but still looks pretty good. Okay. Hey, there's another Elisa Kermish bars there. 
Um, right, how is it? A bit nice? Yeah? Is it spicy? Is it spicy? <coughs> And you wanted to add chilli. Yeah. Oh my god, it is hot. Oh wow, that Thai green paste, quite spicy. Oh my god, that was so hot. <laughs> I could barely eat like, well, I ate like half of it, but my mouth was just burning and I ran out of water. So it was nice, but yeah, that curry paste is hot. Look at my nose, it's running. Calling you up to see how you've been Cause don't I miss you and all those things we did back then Picture. I got it back. <laughs> Raffi. <laughs> Raffi shit. All of a sudden, <laughs> no, chocolate just blew <laughs> past it. Right, we are off to bed. It's been a bit of a boring evening to be honest, nothing crazy exciting. But um, tomorrow I'm just gonna do a big clean of the house. I'm gonna take Raph for a walk in the morning and then yeah, just gonna clean and tidy the house basically. So I will bring you along with me for that. And then on Saturday night, I think I'm gonna do like a big pamper night. I feel like I really need like a face mask and yeah, I just wanna like do a little pamper. Basically, I'll probably just have a cozy night. Feeling really like fed up with everything on the TV at the moment, you know, and you just feel like you can't really get into anything or like concentrate on anything. I don't know why, but yeah, I just need to go to the post office tomorrow actually, do a couple of errands like that. So yeah, not a very exciting day, but I will bring you along with me nonetheless, and I will see you guys in the morning. Night. afternoon um i haven't actually spoken to you all day today because basically uh Rafi, get down um because basically um i just woke up in a bit of a miserable mood and i don't know whether it's because it's the first weekend in lockdown or i don't know what it is to be honest 
can't blame it on my period which is a shame um, but uh yeah it's just been me because sam's working today so i think that's what it is like obviously it's the weekend but like sam's still at work and i can't go out really and see anybody so it's like yeah it just made me feel a little bit down but anyway it's it was a gorgeous day today so i went out for a walk with rafi um and I still didn't feel great after that. I thought that might help me kind of cheer up a little bit. Um, but I actually had a um, online Zoom personal training session booked um, with my PT. And oh my God, I wanted to cancel it so badly. I was like, I'm not in the mood. I really, really want to cancel it anyway. And in the end I went, well, I didn't go. I did it in the house. Um, but in the end I went on to it and I actually was so, so glad that I did it um, because I feel so much better now like I just feel like I'm a bit more motivated now I just didn't have any motivation earlier I just wanted to lie in bed all day and do nothing but thing is like that's fine to have days like that but I find those days often end up making me feel worse um I like to like get stuff done so yeah oh sorry Raph is chewing his bone um so after I had my PT session which I know I'm gonna really hurt in the morning because it's my first session since like July. I've been running and stuff, but I haven't done any sort of strength work. So yeah, um, after I had my PT session, I went out for a quick run just because I was like, I've got my gym kit on, let's just go before I can even talk myself out of it. Um, and then I just popped um, to the pet shop because they are open at the moment and it's Rafi's birthday tomorrow. So um, it's his last day of being zero <laughs> he's turning one tomorrow um and yeah so i just wanted to go and get him like a bone and stuff for his birthday so i went and did that and now i've come back and i am having a bit of a clean um so i've just hoovered now i'm just sort of cleaning the sofa and stuff like that um and yeah i'm feeling quite good about it because it's something that i really wanted to get done so i thought we could pop you on a little time lapse and you could watch me do that which is fun um and then sam should be home from work maybe at about half six seven ish um and then we are gonna have fish and chips for dinner which i'm really excited about because i haven't had them in ages so yeah excuse the state of me as i said i've been just running around and i've done a workout today and stuff I want to chat to you about this um, brand that I've recently discovered called Who Gives a Crap. So I spoke about this on my Instagram stories, so sorry if you've seen that. Um, but I want to talk about it because basically I saw it on someone else's Instagram story, I can't remember who it was now, but it was basically just all about little ways that we can be a little bit more sustainable. Um, and so this is recycled toilet paper and they send it to you like on a, you can either buy like a one-off box like this, or you could do like a rolling subscription, which is what I've done. So basically you just pop in um, how many people live in your house and it calculates roughly how often it's gonna need to deliver to you. So this is coming once every 16 weeks. Um, and yeah, basically it's 100% recycled um, and it comes in these like recyclable little packages as well. Um, it also, you can also get kitchen roll, which is what I've got at the back here. Um, I've got loads more loo roll in here, obviously I haven't just got the two, um, but they're really, really cute. Um, so yeah, it's 100% recycled, as I said, and obviously that is helpful in saving the planet in that way, but also 50% of their profits are donated to help build toilets. So I had a little look on their website and 40% um, of the global population don't have access to toilets, which is creating obviously a lot of disease and um, causing a lot of people to die from these um, diseases. Um, and they actually had on their website that um, one child dies from a disease associated with poor sanitation every two minutes, which is horrendously sad. So the fact that you could buy loo roll, which is something that you would do anyway, um, and it will be recycled, which is brilliant, but also the fact that you can um, be donating to help build toilets as well, I just think was an amazing initiative. So I just really wanted to um, shout about it basically, um, because yeah, I'm really, really glad that I found it. So in terms of the quality of the Lura, I had a few people asking me this. Honestly, I never thought 
I would be here discussing loo roll quality. However, um, it's really soft, definitely. It's not scratchy or anything like that. I say it's like a tiny bit thinner than like what I normally buy, but this is the cheaper one. You can get a more expensive one. So if you're like fussy with your toilet roll, then maybe go for the more expensive one. Um, but yeah, so far I've been pretty impressed. I think it's a really cool initiative and yeah, I just wanted to give it a little shout out. So yeah. Just having a little look at my to-do list today. So walked Raffi, over downstairs and upstairs. I haven't done that, have done that. Didn't do a 5K, did a 2K, so we'll just scribble that out. <laughs> um, post office, okay, so just haven't done those two. Well, good morning. It's this little one's birthday today. Yeah, you're one. You're one years old. Birthday kiss? Mwah. <laughs> Good boy. Should we go do your presents? Good morning, guys. So it is Sunday morning and it is also... Oh, he's not there. <laughs> it is also Rafi's first birthday today. So, oh, did you hear me? <laughs> Yeah, it's also Raffi's first birthday today. Can you see him over there? So obviously there's not a lot to do at the moment. So we are going all out and we're celebrating his birthday. I have balloons, we have toys, we have bones. I have a little birthday hat for him. It is 10 a.m. now. We actually have a call with a um, <clears throat> potential wedding photographer at 11, which you guys can sit in on. Um, and yeah, it's exciting, isn't it, Raffi? Uh, I'm still in my pyjamas. These are from the White Company. Sam got them for me at Christmas. I love them so much. They're so, so comfy. Um, and my hair definitely needs a wash. I am aching today after my first PT session back yesterday. Um, but it feels good. It's good to ache. So this is his little birthday hat. I got it from Amazon and it also has a matching bow tie. Which is just the cutest. And then this is like the balloons and stuff. So we've got bunting. We've got all sorts. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so after all of that birthday excitement, we are just about to jump on a call with a potential photographer. So I thought you guys could listen in to a little bit of a... <laughs> what? what are you laughing at? Nothing. <laughs> what? Listen in. Yeah, they can listen in. Look at you, just pretty much just going to bed. You're not taking this seriously at all. Does it paint me like one of your French girls or something? <laughs> no, is that the same? Uh, yeah, I think so. Just gonna uh, get my notepad to make some notes. Yeah, gonna give her a ring now. Can't even remember her name. Hello. Hiya. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. All good. Good. I've got my partner on the call as well, by the way. Oh, Sam. Sorry, oh, just hi. listening in. <laughs> Up the phone and call me I'll be there 
guys, how are we all doing? So I know this vlog has been really all over the place. I feel like that's just the running theme in all of my vlogs. So I'm really sorry about that. But um, I think the last thing you saw was us celebrating Rafi's birthday. Um, bless him, he had like such a good time. We bought him far too many toys, literally spoiled him so much. But yeah, we had a really, really nice day together. Um, so today is Wednesday. So I actually took the last two days off from vlogging just because I don't know, I just, I think I was just like a little bit burnt out, I just wanted to really chill, um, I had like quite a lot of work to catch up on and stuff, so yeah, haven't been vlogging for those last two days, um, but then today, I've just been doing, again, a really worky day, I've just filmed a favourites video, I'm just about to film a voiceover, um, and I've also got another call with, um, a wedding invite person, um, so yeah, some kind of like life admin stuff and some work stuff, but yeah, nothing too exciting really. Um, but I think I am gonna round off this vlog here and then start another one. Um, and my next one's gonna be like my Christmas decoration one, which I'm super, super excited about. So we're gonna decorate the tree this weekend. Um, my Christmas tree got delivered yesterday. I bought it from Balsam Hill, I think, Bal Balsam? I'm not really sure how you say it, Balsam Hill, something like that. Um, so yeah, very, very excited about that. I'm just waiting on a few like baubles and stuff that I had delivered. I'm going a little bit like, crazy this Christmas because I just feel like we need some joy in our lives so yeah um but anyway thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed the vlog I'm sorry it was a little bit all over the place but I hope you enjoyed it anyway and yeah I will catch you guys in my next video so I'll see you soon bye